Today, we will talk about top 10 places to visit in Australia. Australia is a vast country that is just slightly smaller than the continental United States, so it probably shouldn't be surprising that a country this large would also be home to some of the most unusual destinations and creatures in the world. Among the many iconic sites and landmarks you can visit in Australia are Ayers Rock and the Sydney Opera House. While these spots are very popular with tourists, there are a number of tourist attractions in Australia that aren't as well known but are just as impressive. 10. Sydney and the Hawkesbury River With unique retreats and a slate of new eateries and experiences, Sydney and New South Wales sparkle even brighter as travel continue in 2023. Sydney is an obvious choice, especially as 2023 is the year Sydney Opera House celebrates its 50th anniversary with some special performances. Culture lovers will also be delighted by the opening of Sydney Modern Project, an impressive extension of the Art Gallery of New South Wales, featuring some intriguing exhibitions. But head just one hour north and you can explore the beauty and tranquility of the Hawkesbury River. Cradled by national parks with UNESCO World Heritage status and dotted with secluded river communities, the Hawkesbury River is navigable for over 100 kilometers with 1,100 kilometers of foreshore fringe. The western end of the river forms a peaceful boundary for the Sydney region. You could cruise and explore these waters for weeks and still not see it all. 9. Fraser Island This beautiful island, which is located in Queensland, boasts rainforests, sand dunes, more than 100 freshwater lakes, and pretty colored sand cliffs. Fraser Island, which is just a short ferry trip from Hervey Bay, is also considered to be the largest sand island in the world. This island boasts another unusual claim to fame. Its dingoes are considered to be some of the purest in all Australia, as they have not had as many chances to crossbreed with dogs as their mainland cousins have had. 8. Canberra, Australia Capital Territory Australia's capital city often gets overlooked in favor of big hitters like Sydney and Melbourne, but visitors making time for Canberra will be richly rewarded. Foodies flock here for the great restaurants and culture vultures and enjoy exploring the city's museums and galleries. But what's less well known is that Canberra offers a lot to outdoor enthusiasts too. Lake Burley Griffin is often called the centerpiece of Canberra, and for locals and visitors alike, there are myriad ways to enjoy it. From paddle boarding to cycling the shoreline, to hot air ballooning over the lake, and skippering a picnic boat to enjoy some local produce right out on the water. Those preferring to stay on land should stroll the bridge to bridge walk, which connects Commonwealth Bridge to Kings Avenue Bridge. This three-mile walk takes in several of Canberra's attractions, including Commonwealth Park. Other Canberra highlights include a visit to Parliament House, advanced bookings required, the National Portrait Gallery, and the Australian War Memorial. 7. Sail the Whitsundays The beautiful Whitsunday Islands are nestled off the coast of Airlie Beach and can be included as part of an East Coast road trip. But these islands are so stunning that they deserve an entry all of their own. A collection of tiny land masses is surrounded by crystal clear waters. This is quite frankly a ludicrously beautiful spot. Join our three-day Whitsunday Sailing Explorer to see the best of these beautiful islands. There are few better places on Earth to spend a day, particularly sat relaxing on a boat and taking in the surroundings. The aptly named Daydream Island is the spot for this, as are the pristine, white silica sands at Whitehaven Beach. The waters are excellent for swimming, ideal for snorkeling and perfect for helping you forget you ever had a care in the world. There are an infinite number of great places to visit in Australia, but these are definitely our top 10. Incorporating one, a few or all into your Australia multi-center holiday will help make your experience memorable. 6. Launceston, Tasmania Launceston has transformed from a quiet country town into a cultural, creative, and food destination. The city recently asserted its place among the world's great Epicurean destinations with the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, bestowing it as a UNESCO City of Gastronomy. Launceston and the surrounding region are full of winemakers and artists, chefs and distillers, and artisan makers. The city's paddock-to-plate culture 
with the fertile land and sea at its edges, supplying the tastes and experiences that have come to define the northern Tasmanian city. Taste the region with new food ventures such as funky cellar doors, sustainable eateries, Epicurean restaurants, and humming cafe culture. Plus, established food cultural events agriculture and the weekly harvest market community farmers market add to the local vibrancy. Stay at Stillwater 7, a converted 1830s flour mill at the mouth of the Cataract Gorge. 5. Whitsunday Islands This stunning collection of 74 islands lies in the middle of Australia's Great Barrier Reef, making them a perfect jumping-off spot for travelers looking to explore the amazing and colorful marine life that live in the waters of this area. Although most of the Whitsunday Islands are deserted, seven do have outstanding resorts on them, including the world-famous one and only on Hayman Island, a favorite of celebrities and the rich and famous. 4. Kakanu National Park Located in Australia's Northern Territory, about three hours north of Darwin, Kakadu is the country's largest national park. There is a lot to see in Kakadu National Park, including a large concentration of aboriginal rock art, some of which are estimated to be up to 20,000 years old. This park is also home to many different species of wildlife, including wallabies, dingoes, and crocodiles. In addition, Kakadu National Park, which is home to one-third of Australia's bird species, is a birdwatcher's dream. 3. The Luru Ayers Rock one of the world's largest monoliths, Ayers Rock is also one of the top tourist attractions in Australia. Located within the Uluru Katachuda National Park of the Northern Territory, this large sandstone formation stands more than 340 meters 1, feet, high. One of the rock's peculiarities is that it changes colors dramatically at sunset from terracotta to blue, violet, and red. The local Aboriginal tribe, known as Anangu. Call the Rock Uluru and regard it as a sacred site. 2. Great Barrier Reef One of the top destinations for underwater explorers and scuba divers is the world's largest barrier reef system, famously known as the Great Barrier Reef. Located in the Coral Sea, the Great Barrier Reef encompasses a huge area of more than 2,900 coral reefs and hundreds of islands and caves. The best way to explore the reef is by one of the numerous boat cruises that run along the northern coast of Queensland. The town of Cairns is regarded as the main gateway to the reef, but other towns also offer cruise operations. 1. Sydney Opera House Regarded as a 20th century architectural masterpiece, the Sydney Opera House was designed and built by architect Jordan Hudson to reflect the image of a huge sailing ship. It houses multiple venues that together host more than 1,500 performances each year. Surrounded by the beautiful scenery of the Sydney Harbour and the Royal Botanic Gardens, the famous Opera House in Sydney is one of Australia's most famous landmarks. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. Before you go, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.